If there's one word to describe the 80s powerhouse that was Konami, absolutely, 100%, unquestionably, undoubtedly, it must be... Oh, do I have to say it? And I'm not trying to deny or diss Konami's other well-deserved titles either. Castlevania? Great. Metal Gear? Breaks the conventional mold. Snatcher? Gamey storytelling at its best. Contra? Jet sets your world on fire! Twice! Hands down, there's no contest who's Konami's top dog here. I may outright do a review, but that's been done to death. Alright, come on, you guys know me better than that. Why well, talk about an infamously well-known game like Contra, when I could tell you a little known forgotten gem like Operation C for the Game Boy. I know, I know, some of you are already moaning and groaning saying, is this going to be another lame letdown like Castlevania Adventure? Guys, two words. It's Contra! Oh yeah, it's gun-toting, action-blasting, alien-bashing, big ol' heaping chunks of good old vitamin C. That's not too surprising, since it takes many cues from Super C, the layout may be similar and it may have the same number of continues, but I'm here to set the record straight that this is a completely new rad bad bullet fest from your friends at Konami, or should I say Ultra Games? Hell, in some ways, Operation C is better. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How can you top perfection, you ask? How about the fact that your main weapon is now a machine gun? That's right, no more constantly tapping those thumbs on the controller. Just rest your pretty fat digit and just go wild. But what would Contra be without a sweet satisfaction of weapons? And Operation C has a nice serving. For starters, you got the sizzling fireball. Next up, the infamous spreader. Pick up another and prepare to be emboldened with the super spreader. Oh yeah, nothing makes you feel like the boss than this bad boy. But why be the boss when you can be the king? That's right, I give you the homing spread. Or as I like to call it, unstoppable, unstoppable domineering, domineering badassery of, of awesomeness. awesomeness. And my preferable weapon of choice, it puts the spreader to shame. Tell me, can the spreader do this? Or this? Or how about that? Tank in the side pot. Look. Walk in the bullets. Awesome. With this baby, viscerating aliens is too easy. Wait, too easy? But this is Contra! Brutal gameplay coupled with nauseating endless hordes of enemies, a fired up phenomenal soundtrack, and unbelievable tight controls not only gives Operation C all the makings of a great game, but a great Contra game. And loving every mint. Three lives? Tch, that's a midnight snack. What you need is some up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right BA magic. Courtesy of Mr. Kazuhisa Hachimoto. Or in this case, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, BA, start, opens the stage select screen, which the original Japanese Contra had, but not the American. But our American version has the stage select, while the Japanese one doesn't. Which, by the way, is named CONTRA! Or up for down for left for right for BA starts with 10 extra lives. But don't kid yourself, get cocky and this game will show you no mercy. It took me a full two years before I resorted to the Konami code, and I only got as far as level 4. Hell, when I finally beat the game with the code, I held only 2 lives left. 2 lives! That's 28 times I died, at least. So, at the risk of sounding redundant, it's hard. It's really, really hard. So be prepared to die, 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 a lot. But what great Contra does he? Except this one has one or two hitches. Operation C only has five levels. And if you noticed by now, it's only one player. So no co-op. Sort of taboo for a game of its caliber, cause half the fun was grabbing a buddy and blowing shit up. And yes, this could be the fault of the game with software limits at the time, 
And yes, it may not live up to absolute expectations, but don't you dare hold that against Operation C. Konami could have easily slapped together some half-assed port. Instead, they gave it 100% and the proof's in the pudding right here. And any Contra fan worth its salt should definitely grab a copy for 5 bucks. ASAP. Contra was gold for the NES, and Operation C is gold for the Game Boy. Why? It's Contra. And that's a fact. And this has been... A Quick Hit.